Hey guys! I recently started 3D printing with ABS plastic and I had a lot of trouble with parts spanning off the build platform like you can see here this one should be a flat surface but it's apparently not that straight as you can see and I tried a lot of things I found on the internet like using this genuine scotch blue tape to help the parts stick on the platform but that didn't really work I tried using hairspray that did work probably half the time but um, it left all the gunk on the build platform and it didn't really make a nice surf leave a nice surface finish on the back of your parts so this wasn't a good solution either and I think I found a solution for now that seems to work very well and I may as well share it with you so the trick is to use some acetone on your build platform, just pour a little bit on it where your part should print and then use a scrap piece of ABS plastic, it has to be ABS but you probably have some fake prints if you're watching this video and then use this piece to just spread the acetone so what this does is it dissolves some of the ABS plastic on the build platform and the acetone vaporates away and you then have a really smooth surface um, with some ABS already on the platform that sticks really well to the platform and then the first layer of your print can stick really well to this smooth thin layer of ABS plastic so let's just get some acetone. I'm using this syringe that fits around 4 milliliters of acetone. And now I just gently put the acetone on the build platform. And yeah, that's already enough. That's about half the volume of the syringe. So only about 2 milliliters. And now I use the scrap piece and just rub it on the build platform basically. And as you may can see this the liquid acetone now gets uh, kind of gray and it really gets sticky and it's not liquid anymore. It's more very more viscous. And yeah, that's basically it. Now build platform is prepared and now I just switch on 3D printer and start printing with the normal settings. I use about I use around 250 degrees for the extruder and the build platform is heated to around 130 degrees. Another trick which seems to work quite good is using a box like this one to put over the 3D printer. And what this does is it basically raises the temperature inside of the box. So you can see this here, the uh, upper temperature is the ambient temperature here in the cellar. It's only around 15 degrees here because we are in the winter. And at the bottom you see the temperature inside of the box is already around 50 degrees C. And what this does is it prevents your print from cooling down because you may have a heated print bed but this is only good for the first few layers so the rest of your print is really at ambient temperature right after it gets out of the nozzle and cools down so you have this huge temperature difference between the bottom of your print that's on your heated print bed at around 130 degrees and the top of your print that is just about ambient temperature and this causes your print also to warp and as you can see here the box really helps raising the ambient temperature inside of the 3D printer and this helps preventing the part from bending. So now it's one and a half hours later and the print just finished and as you can see it looks really gunky on the build platform but the print itself didn't warp or anything so 
We now just have to get it off the platform, which could be really hard because, as you see, it really sticks to the platform. So I definitely have to get my knife out and try and put it under the build platform and get it off that way. Finally! So as you can see the bottom surface really is absolutely straight. As you can see here. So perfect. Did work another time. Gonna have to clean this up a bit. See you next time.